So, when did you go to Paris then? When you left Switzerland? Yep, about 1938. The year before the war broke out, I had six months in Paris, more or less six months, about four and a half. And I stayed in the Hotel de Lodion, which is the in the uh, Place de Lodion, which is a theatre in Paris. Is that near Montmartre? No. Hmm? Is that near Montmartre? Or... Uh, I can't remember that. It was, <laughs> it, it was near Saint-Germain. I knew the Boulevard Saint-Germain. Okay. Not very far from there. Oh. And, which is one of the main thoroughfares. Uh, and we stayed in a hotel there, which was uh, very reasonable. And I uh, had a room there, and we used to go out um, that's a Picabia family, the young ones, go out painting and wow. drawing together. So how did you... We think? went down to sort of... Um, sometimes we went to a natural history museum where there were specimens, you know, skeletons of, of eagles or what have you. Mm. We'd draw from there. It was a good way of learning ah. how, how wings are made, you know, and a, and a skeleton and building up from there. But uh, it was useful to have, and then you could always reject it if you were painting. So you didn't have to be particularly academic. And uh, then, of course, I was, had to go back and finish my course in Switzerland. And then, after that, when I came home, of course, war broke out. And that was that. But my period in Paris was quite nice because I, I met a lot of people there. How did you meet Picabia then? Did he. Well, uh, I, I did try to explain it yesterday. No. Yeah. But probably no one is listening. <laughs> <laughs> it was so loud, there were so many people talking. Well, my brother was a fellow of King's Cambridge, who's older than I was by eight years nearly. Yeah. So he got a, a, a scholarship to King's, and then shortly after was when he died his tripod, was made a fellow. And then he was in the Spanish Portuguese department, that was his subject, the mm. faculty. And at that time, there was a man and his family called Jimenez, came to Cambridge and was given a very good job in the Spanish faculty. He'd come from the University of Madrid and was well-known anti-Francoist. So, you know, he escaped, so to speak. And he knew all these people. Oh. He knew people like uh, Picasso, Miro, um, Duchamp. And my brother, who got quite friendly with them all, there was this, he came with his wife and his son, who was called Manolo, who was the elder of the two, and a young, his daughter, who was younger, she was about my age at the time. Anyhow, I only met her once, and I only met Manolo once, because he went off to South America and married a Spanish woman, an Argentinian. Then uh, he, having known all these people, wrote to Picabia and said, uh, I have a friend who would like his brother to go and study painting in Paris. Could you help? Yeah. And that's how it developed. Um. So off I went. <laughs> and stayed with the Picabia family. Uh, well, only the son and daughter. What, they were very independent, you see. Yeah. The father had divorced, well, he divorced his wife. She'd left him and he was li living with an American woman. And uh, he had this big studio just in the area of the Madeleine. It was huge. Because he was a very wealthy man. Oh. And um, well, his father, I think I told you yesterday, he was the ambassador from Cuba, from Cuba to Ah, oh, yes, France. you did say, yeah. And he was, they were all pretty well. Because Cuba in those days was a playground for the Americans, you know. It wasn't like it is now, communist. Yeah. It was very wealthy. People used to flock there. But the facilities were superb. Oh. And they could, the cigars were there for the Americans, you Obviously, see. Yeah. Which they all, which they can't get now, it's banned. Oh, the studio, and the, how big it was, and I don't know. Which studio? The one Picabia's son worked in? Oh, it was pretty big, yeah. It was oh. a large room. Oh. And it had like ceiling lights, you know, that yeah. came down to reflect onto the easel. Oh. Yes, I remember sitting there. And I didn't, I didn't go into Miro's studio. It was his sitting room, rather. I remember we were going upstairs, and uh, there was this table with the portfolio on it. And just turned over the paintings, showed me them. What was he like? Was he kind of... Oh, he was very friendly, that person. Very nice. I mean, you know, you wouldn't think he was 
uh, well, I suppose he was getting famous. He wasn't as well known as he is now, obviously. But, um, yeah, yeah, he wasn't exactly poor. So, you know, he, he had a following. That's good. And he was very, very, very helpful, you know, to, to just what you should do, uh, work hard, always draw, things like that. Every day, do something. Yeah. And, um, yes, yeah, he was... He was rather smallish, as I got the impression, mm. and rather round in the face, but very pleased, <laughs> lovely, sort of friendly, friendly air. Some of the British artists weren't so friendly. No. <laughs> <laughs> Were they, uh... Well, the only one I met was Eric Gill. Oh, really? Yes, I met Eric Gill. Do you remember him? Very the script. Mm. Yes. He was a curious man, he used to dress like a monk. Yes, and he did the, that script, you know, that famous script um, he invented, like Gold English. Oh, yeah. And um, he was also a sculptor. <sighs> and I, met, well, I had a friend there whose mother was very Catholic. He was Irish, they were Irish, and they lived next door, virtually. And so we got to know them, and he took me to meet him once. But he was about the only Englishman I met who was really known. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the I others were a bit snobbish, really. They didn't want to meet anybody. Um, they didn't. I heard everyone in Paris was kind of just hanging out in the cafes together and... Not there. like in Paris they did, you see, yes. Yeah. But not in England. Well, there were no cafes to hang about in England. I suppose. They, were, they, they didn't exist, you see. In England at that time we had a large corner house. <laughs> virtually, all there was, which is a tea shop. Oh. You just went in through the door, had some rather hard rock cakes and a cup of tea, sat down <laughs> at the table. You know, there was no outside cafe life. It's very different to Paris Oh, then. yeah. I mean, now everything has completely changed. Since people start to fly around the world, yeah. they get different ideas. There used to be a, a street there with about five or six galleries with oh, uh, really? modern paintings. Just walked into one gallery, out and then into another one. <laughs> there was always an exhibition going on with some painter. So there's just so much art going on at that time. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes. I don't know about now whether it's the same. I'm probably not. It was rather fun because when we were, when I was going to that there, <laughs> the waiters used to come, they had this white table, cloth round them here, went almost to that <laughs> in ankles, you know, were apron. Yeah. Do they still wear those? Um, some did, some yeah. didn't. And then, of course, when you, they come along and take your order, you probably want a, like, a coffee with a cognac or something like that. Or a fiend, as they called it. And they bring the coffee uh, the, uh, and put it down. And they put the fiend down with the glass. And the glass was thistle shaped. And there's always a band round it, which yeah. they had to fill up to that band by law. <laughs> and then really? they went, well, they went over it sometimes, yeah. but never under. And on the saucer was a price, two francs fifty or whatever it was. So you looked at your saucer and knew what you had to pay. Very that's, clever. That's very clever. So they took these saucers of five francs, two francs fifty, two francs, put the, the goods on which they knew what it was, and there you were. No bill, anything. There you are, that two francs fifty, two francs, four francs fifty, plus tip. <laughs> it's very clever. Yeah, definitely. They don't do that anymore, I'm sure. No. I suppose the price has changed so much nowadays. Mm. Mm. <laughs> I bet it has. I'm guessing everything was really cheap then as well, just kind of. And the, the, the coffee used to be good there. I mean, last time I was in France, the coffee was appalling. Well, Paris is good fun, I like Paris in those days. It sounds it. Like, yes. It sounds good really life. good. Hard work. I mean, I did work there. I read a lot of. went out to the. Um, Art schools, you know, and mm. as I was saying last night, you would go in there and put a few francs in the plate mm. and then draw. There were male and female models, and there's still lives. And people, and artists would come around, you know, not a famous one, but someone who knew, was still known, and could say, Oh, look, you know, correct your drawing. Say, so, a little bit here, a little bit there, otherwise, yes, coming along nicely, or something like that. And we both went there, Jenny and I. The son was, of course, he was a writer. Oh, yeah. He wasn't an artist. He was a very nice family. Very sorry to leave them, really. And I never got in touch, because when they came back, the war started. Everybody dispersed. 
yeah. various parts of the world. And that was five years, you know, by, by that time, who knows where everyone was. Doing their own thing. Mm. Yeah. Oh. But look, do, do take those. Definitely, I will. Let's, um... <clears throat> but I met, I met him, I met him only twice, once with um, Janine took me in another time, it was a very fleeting one because I think he was going out or something oh. and the arrangement hadn't been made very well, you know, and he apologised and we had a good chat and showed me some new decent work, that was it. Did you I just, never met him again after that. Did you just talk about art or just... Oh no, we talked about... Life. <laughs> well, you know, that, yes, too. Yes. Oh, he's very, very nice, yes, very friendly. Yes, I mean, for someone he, you know, was a young fellow, <laughs> junior, <laughs> he was very uh, encouraging. Yeah. Catalan. Yes. They're all very nice people. Are they? Yeah, because, um, was it Picasso?